So, hello guys, uh, you are watching NB Electrical Tutorials. Uh, this will be new sa paningin ninyo dahil ngayon ay i-discuss natin ang parte ng panel board. At kadalasan kasi, um, dinedemo ko sa inyo kung paano gawin ang iba't ibang activities na patungkol sa electricity. So, ngayon is magpa-flash lang ako ng mga animations patungkol sa mga parte ng panel board. So, disclaimer lang, ang iyong mapapanood ay ang mga basic functions basic parts ng panel board. Bago pala natin umpisahan, uh, maraming salamat sa lahat ng patuloy na sumusuporta. So, let's get started. So, ano nga ba ang panel board? Uh, a panel board is a component of an electrical distribution system which divides an electrical power feed into branch circuits while providing a protective circuit breaker or fuse for each circuit in a common enclosure. A panel board services to protect branch circuits from overloads and short circuits. So, there you have it. So, syempre, meron din tayong electricity meter. Uh, dito makikita kung how much electricity ang ginamit natin or kinonsume natin. Sa ating bahay, makikita natin ang service panel o ang ating pinakatapik. Ito din ang ating tinatawag na circuit breaker box. Kung bubuksan natin ito, makikita natin ang main breaker. So, ang main breaker or branch circuit breakers are designed to shut off power to individual circuits if they overload by trying to draw more power than the wires can safely handle. And the main circuit breaker is much the same. So, ito yung kumokontrol ng mga kuryente na pumapasok sa bahay natin kasi... Uh, masyadong malakas ang kuryente na galing sa poste. Pero dadaan, dadaan lang yun sa transformer, then pupunta dito sa main breaker natin. So, ito yung pag i off mo eh, mawawalan ng kuryente sa buong bahay. Ginagawa ito kapag may kailangan gawin sa mga switch o outlets at sa iba pa. Pinapatay rin ito kapag may ginagawa sa mga kuryente upang maiwasin ang disgrasya. Ito ay nasa taas ng parte ng panel board o madalas nasa ibaba para mas madaling ma-access at hindi malito kung saan nga ba ito nakalocate. Ang dalawang wire na kukonekta sa electric meter ay direktang nakakonekta dito. Next natin ay ang main bus bar. So ang definition ng bus bar ay isang conductor or an assembly of conductors for collecting electric currents and distributing them to outgoing feeders. Ito yung nagkikerry ng kuryente na dumadaloy sa breaker galing sa mga poste na dumaan ng electricity meter. Ang daloy nito ay backwards at forwards dahil ito ay AC o alternating current. Kapag ito ay nakasindi, napakainit nito. Maaaring putulin o ikat ng main breaker ang power nito kapag ito ay simple naka-off. So, next part natin is tinatawag nating ground bus bar. So, ano ang ground bus bar? So, ang ground bus bar also known as bus bar trunking system it distributes electricity with greater ease and flexibility than some other more permanent forms of installations and distribution. Sometimes spelled bus bar or minsan naman double S. Bus bar. They are often metallic strips of copper, brass, or aluminum that both ground and conduct electricity. Next tayo, neutral ground bus bar. The bar connects to the main service neutral and returns the current back to the electric utility grid. In many service panels, the neutral bus bar also serves as the grounding bus bar and is where the individual bare copper circuit ground wires are terminated. So, why can we not connect neutrals and grounds on the same bus bar at a sub panel? The reasoning behind this is because we want one path for power to return to the source. 
If you connect grounds and neutrals at a sub panel, the grounds could take some of the power load and deliver it back to the source, the main panel. May wire din ito. Ito ay tinatawag na neutral wire. Neutral wire carries the circuit back to the original power source. More specifically, neutral wires bring the circuit to a ground or bus bar usually connected at the electric panel. This gives current circulation through your electrical system, which allows electricity to be fully utilized. So, kung nakikita nyo yung green screw na yan, may silby yan. So, ang green screw or ang GE bonding screw is a replacement ground screw that is used to ground a wire to an enclosure. This screw is designed for use with power mark gold, 100 to 200 amperes load centers. Ang pinakatrabaho ng neutral bar ay ibalik ang electricity pabalik ng transformer. So, ang process ay from transformer pupunta sa panel at pagkatapos magamit ng kuryente ay ibabalik ulit ito sa transformer. So, gamit ang ating multimeter kung test natin ito. Kung i-coconnect natin ang isa sa bus bar at ang isa naman ay sa neutral bar, makakakuha tayo ng reading na 120 volts. At kung ililipat natin ang isa sa kabilang bus bar, makakakuha pa rin tayo ng 120 volts. Ngunit, kung ililipat naman natin ang dalawa sa dalawang bus bar, ay makakakuha tayo ng double na 240 volts. So next tayo, uh, sa circuit breaker naman. Ang circuit breaker is an electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by overcurrent, overload, or short circuit. Its basic function is to interrupt current flow after protective relays detect a fault. So yung para mabawasan yung ano, uh, parang pinaka protection natin yan sa mga overload, overcurrent, gaya ng sabi ko on. So, next tayo ang double pole breaker. Ang double pole breakers have two hot wires that are connected by a single neutral wire. That means if there's a short circuit on either of the poles hot wires, both drift. These breakers can be used to serve two separate 120 volt circuits or they can serve a single 240 volt circuit, such as your central alternating current circuit. Ang GFCI circuit breaker, a ground fault circuit interrupter can help prevent electrocution. If a person's body starts to receive a shock, the GFCI senses this and cuts off the power before he can get injured. GFCIs are generally installed where electric circuits may accidentally come into contact with water. Ang panghuli natin ay ang AFCI circuit breaker. Arc fault circuit interrupters are special types of electric receptacles or outlets and circuit breakers designed to detect and respond to potentially dangerous electric arcs in home branch wiring. At ayun, uh, sana ay marami kayong natutunan. At maraming salamat ulit sa Patuloy na pagsuporta sa akin at muli, ito ang NB Electrical Tutorial. Please keep supporting me and subscribe to my channel at pindutin nyo na din ang notification bell para sa mga susunod pa nating video.